Welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about what if Kabuto returned to Orochimaru and became part of Team Taka. And as a surprise, we know Kabuto, after gaining the six past power, he surpassed Orochimaru in every way, while he also knows and gains the abilities of Team Taka. He has Karen's healing ability. He has a more powerful Sage Jutsu in Sage mode than Jogo. While being slightly less efficient in sword usage so Suigetsu probably still gets him in like the sword category but chakra usage he's uh more adept with that and he will have to and in this scenario he will help out heavy sasuke the one that is finished fighting itachi now with that kabuto's plan to do uh to start a war to do any revenge on the ninja world kind of backfires as now he will return he will get the news of Orochimaru being dead with Orochimaru being dead right he will seek to take his place as the lead scientist the head and try to control Sasuke on his own therefore in turn he tries to be in Team Taka now knowing that Kabuto Kabuto and the fights that Sasuke needs help in the Raikage um sorry the killer B fight he most likely still loses to Killer B. It just won't be a beatdown as it was last time, as Sasuke won't have a heavy usage of the Sharingan if Kabuto's there, because now Kabuto, as long as well with the rest of Team Taka, have the abilities and maybe can actually restrain Killer B. I don't think they'll win the fight, but I don't think they'll succeed in uh, still succeed in capturing him right as well how does this change the story well now in this story with Orochimaru confidently being dead and now him prevent Kabuto not causing the reanimation war at least for his side Obito still starts the war Kabuto will still have the know of the jutsu how to break out the Hokage as he knows pretty much everything Orochimaru knows so with Obito basically starting the war with i guess whatever pawns he has left i'll make another video if what if obito couldn't use kabuto but um now with kabuto on basically the leaf side or as his own side basically with sasuke he's able to thrash obito <laughs> and the war arc would be way way shorter as now there's no reanimation arc there's no reanimation fourth grade ninja war there's no Madara coming back, though Obito probably has the means to still bring Madara back, but he's probably the only reanimation he can, because he doesn't have the access, he didn't have the jutsu, nor did he have the chakra to pull off reanimation. If he did, he would have done it by now in all aspects, but, if, but he hasn't shown that level of quality in his jutsu. But anyway with the uh and with that with him becoming basically a rich replacement that means there's one left of the old legendary signing which is tsunade and there just wouldn't be a war arc sasuke still gets controlled until naruto meets him and then sasuke is now under the control of the crow that's itachi planted as now itachi never gets to come back with the reanimation that Kabuto caused, because Kabuto isn't inadvertently bringing back hundreds of thousands shinobi to fight in his war. So, without him basically carrying the war on himself, I mean, Obito really doesn't, he, he proclaims the war, but he doesn't really do much in effect of the war. He has ten tails, he probably, but without Kabuto's help, he doesn't do much. That means now everyone turns their heads to Obito. Obito probably still seeks out Kabuto's help, but Kabuto denies his help, and Obito, of course, will kill Kabuto. And Kabuto will die with probably all the knowledge. But Obito doesn't have that level of knowledge or chakra to do to do the reanimation jutsu. Kabuto and Orochimaru can do it because they've altered their bodies to the maximum. And Obito can do it, but Obito only has white Tetsu cells, which a, which makes him able to spam the uh, the 
come week for however long. That's why he hasn't gone blind because the white sensor cells pretty much just carry his body. Like and they replaced half his brain, heart, lungs, ribs, leg, you name it, they did it. Right? Plus he had Hashirama cells on top of that amp. But with that, a lot does change in the story. There's no war arc. Well, there's probably still a war. Obito probably still tries to find a way to cause a war, but just not with Kabuto's help. Um, they succeed in B, but of course, Team Taka, Sasuke, and Kabuto eventually turn their back on the Akatsuki anyway, especially when all their members stop start dying. <laughs> um, but yeah, because they... Kabuto would only be on Sasuke's side, and Sasuke was never going to remain in the Akatsuki because of the Itachi. So, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below, but basically, in this what if, Kabuto, Kabuto really doesn't. Kabuto tries to control Sasuke, Obito tries to come with Kabuto for help, as Kabuto is the only one that could do the reanimation jutsu, as Orochimaru is rather dead, or tries to figure himself out of not being dead. And Kabuto, of course, refuses his help and dies way early in the story as Obito does kill him. Because Kabuto is not on the level of Obito. Of course, not even Itachi. But he definitely, he's definitely the strongest in Team Taka. Anyway, that is the video. And I will see you in the next one.